Hey guys, what's up? In this video we will see, how you can tighten up your Compose chatbot. Which will include, how to create different welcome messages for different pages. Using webhooks. Export slash import functionality. Assigning conversation to a specific agent slash team on handoff. Entities in Compose. And last, sending attachments to bot. So, without wasting any time, let's get it started. For this tutorial, you need an existing Communicate account, and a Compose chatbot. If you still don't have a Communicate account, there is a registration link in the description box below. We have a full tutorial, on how you can easily create your own chatbot, using our GUI Bot Builder tool, Compose. Link for the same shall also be in the description. Now, once all that is done, go to Compose's Bot Builder section, choose a bot that you want to work on. Once this is done, we can start with our first step, that is, creating different welcome messages for different pages of your website. For that, simply click this add button to create a new intent. After that, give your intent a name, then, enter the path of the page, where you want to show this particular welcome message. No need to include your domain, just path name should be fine. You can also add multiple paths to show this welcome message, on multiple pages of your choice. Once all this is done, create your welcome message. Then click save. Next, we will see, what are webhooks? If you don't know what a webhook is, webhooks can fetch a response or data from a particular website which has provided the webhook. For example, a courier website can provide a webhook, which can fetch tracking data for a particular order. So, let's see how they are used. First, go to your bot setting, click webhook, then click create webhook, give your webhook a name, enter webhook URL which your service provider will provide, be it your courier partner, or banking partner. Entering request header details is optional. After all that, click Create. Here, we have already set up a webhook for demonstration purpose. Once that is done, go to the intent where you want to enable this webhook. In our case we'll create one for showing user's order status. From the intent, enable webhook, then select a webhook for this particular intent. Now let's click this, test button and see how the webhook works. Here is our chat window, and here is our welcome message. Let's click, Order Status. As we can see, the bot has fetched a response using the webhook and tells the user about their order status. Now, let's see one more demo, how webhooks can help with bank-related services. Let's create a new intent. First let's give this intent a name, add the training phrase. Now, we have already configured a webhook for this as well. Let's just enable it and click train bot to save this intent. Now let's again test our bot to see this webhook in action. Here is the bot, let's click wallet balance and see what happens. As we can see, the bot has fetched a response using the webhook and has displayed how much balance a user has in their wallet account. That's cool, right? You can also create a new webhook directly from the intent section. So guys, that was about webhooks. Now, let's see how to use the import and export feature of Compose. Just go to bot settings, here you'll be able to see export and import both the features. Export will export all your existing intents of the current chatbot in a single file, and when you create a new chatbot of similar kind, there is no need to create all intents all the way from scratch. Just import this file into your new chatbot, and you can easily customize your already created intents. This helps in saving a lot of time. Now, let's see how you can hand off the conversation from a bot, to a specific member or a team. Just create an intent from where you want your human team members or agents to take over, then just go to more, then click, hand over. From here, you can choose whom you want to hand over the conversation to. Once that is done, simply click train bot. Let's see a quick demo of how this works. When a customer triggers this intent, as we can see, the bot will transfer the conversation to a human team member, who can easily reply to the conversation, from the conversation dashboard. Next, let's see what are entities. So entities in Compose, help you to extract certain data from user's reply. These can help in providing a more personalized experience to the user, for example, you can address the user using their name, to make the conversation more engaging. You can select what all things you want to extract. Let's create an intent to get the email from user, which you can use to email them certain personal info or to send invoice etc. So we are all set with the intent, let's see a demo as well, we will enter any random email, and as we send this text, we can see the bot has automatically identified, what email is being used by the user. Okay, now the last thing is, sending attachments to bot. Well, this one is pretty simple. Did you know, users can even send attachments to bot. They can simply click the attachment icon, and select the file they want to send, which you can directly access from the conversation dashboard. So guys, that is how you tighten up your Compose chatbot. And that was it for this video. 
If you think it was helpful, then hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more such content. I'll see you guys in the next one.